CRMs promise to make your business life so much easier. Having all your customer information in one place can really improve your sales and business efficiency. But that information won't just appear, whether that information is manually entered or uploaded via a CSV file or Excel file, it's not always easy to get started in your CRM. Matter of fact, it can be a real pain in the butt. Here are some cons and pros to how to get started using your CRM. Welcome to this episode of Simple CRM. How to use what you know and who you know to grow your business with the president of Address2, Troy Hanna. To start in your CRM, you have to have the patience to enter all your contacts and their information. As mentioned before, there are multiple options for uploading information into your CRM. You may choose to manually enter all your contacts from pencil and paper and, and that sort of method, or you can upload your information using an Excel sheet, otherwise known as a CSV file. If you've been using the paper and pencil method to keep track of your contacts, this can be a very timely process. Opening a business nowadays, it's super important that you see and reap the benefits of starting to use a simple CRM early because when you use technology like this, it'll be beneficial for you from the start. It'll avoid you having to manually transfer data back and forth and spending all that time beginning your business. Well, without your DeLorean handy, I should say. It's important to take the time to start now and transfer that data into a process like an address to CRM system. Getting yourself into this habit, you will keep from having to use your very full memory banks to recall information about these customers later. CRM files must be properly cleaned and organized before you can upload them into a CRM. This method is a little bit riskier due to the nature of transferring masses amount of data. But before you upload your CSV, you need to clean it. It's called data scrubbing, if you will. Your column headers, you need to have all those different values filled in, so that way everything gets updated into your system at one time and it's good data. For more information on how to add CSV information into your Address2 account or any other CRM system, visit our tutorials. I'll post a comment down there with a link. It's easy to write a sticky note and remind yourself to call Frank back, but isn't that how you're gonna get used to your CRM system anyway? Use your CRM to remind you to call Frank next month, but a sticky note can end up in the trash can. Getting yourself into the habit early, especially as you're building your business, will help you immensely later down the road. These features are called things like history and tasks in address too. After a week of forcing yourself to use these features, it'll begin to be second nature. Try it, seven days, 14 days, that's all we're asking. Add address to your CRM shortcut on your phone so that you can get into the habit of always using it. Here are the facts. Starting to use a CRM can most certainly be a huge pain in the butt, but there are a few benefits for forcing yourself to start using one now. It increases sales, it increases leads, you can monitor and maintain your business success, you can improve customer satisfaction, you can improve the quality of staff and customer interactions. It's important for you to get in the habit of using your CRM before you allow yourself to miss another opportunity or post-it note with just a few small business tips and tricks. For more information on launching into your CRM software, click that video below in the comments that I'll post later on and there'll be a great video on three simple steps to getting started in your CRM. Until next time. Thank you for watching this episode of Simple CRM with Troy Hanna. For more great information, visit the Address2 website at address2.com. Also browse the other shows found right here at Indie Biz TV Shows.